Good morning. Welcome to Lilybrook. Did you know that 90% of your bad shots occur because of something that you did before you even started your backswing? Grip, aim, posture, ball position, tee height, never mind what's going on in here. It can all go wrong before you've even started. That was a pretty nasty setup, and I managed to drag the ball almost back on line. But that doesn't always happen. If you've got a nasty setup, you need a nasty swing to get the ball down this short grass. So just be aware of what you're doing. And the way we get better at this, the way we become aware of what we're doing, is a little thing called a pre-shot routine. I'll show you mine. Well, my pre-shot routine isn't particularly very difficult. We'll start off with a bit of a loosener. I don't go full speed like Jose Maria Alafarbo. I just do my thing. Now I need a target. Now my target is going to be the end of that path you can see in the distance. I'm on the right side of the tee because I normally hit a fade. The ground here goes left to right, so that really suits my fade. So I'm aiming in on that target. Next thing I do is I draw a line back from that target, back to my golf ball, and I pick something up here in the foreground. Now I'm going to point my club at it. I'll take my stance and hopefully, if I've got everything right, my feet should be parallel to that target. Now the last thing I do is I look up and have a look at my long target. Now I've got to be very careful. I had a motorcycle accident back in 1990 all the soft tissue in the back of my neck is a wreck. So when I look up, and this goes for putting too, when I look up to look at my long target, what you'll see is that my shoulder's open. So I've got to be aware that when I come back to the ball, I want to square my shoulders again. Now when you see me hit bad shots, generally, it's because I'm pointing the wrong way. I haven't got set up properly, and I'm set up closed, or I'm set up open. Or I'm set up exactly how I want to be, but because my neck is particularly stiff today, when I've looked at the target, I've really opened my shoulders, and they're pointing way over there. And then I get into a pickle. So, you know, if you've got back and neck issues, or it's a cold day and you're just plain stiff, just be aware that your shoulders, your hips and your feet are all pointing the same way and that you haven't set up open or closed with the shoulders. You know, I can open and close these shoulders and my feet are still square, aren't they? So, let's actually give it a go. Yeah, I've dragged that a fraction further left than I want to, but it has faded. It's gonna hit the ground and it's gonna chase across the fairway. Perhaps when I look back on this on video, I'll be able to see what mistake I made. Now, you might think that that opening one was a bit extreme, where I've uh, aimed right and then come over the top and drag the ball back to target 
but there's a lot of people who do that. I'll show you a guy I used to play with at Tewkesbury. He was a 16-17 handicap and he'd step into the golf ball and he'd set up closed. And then as he was looking down the, the range there, he'd kind of like shuffle his feet until he eventually got very close to target. And he'd take his backswing and then somewhere up here, the old brain box was saying, hang on, the target's over there to the left. So he came out and over and five or six times around, he would fail to drag the ball back onto target. He'd be out of bounds, he'd be in the trees, he'd be in such a mess that he was running up doubles and triples, which is why he was 16 or 17 handicap instead of 12 or 13. That's what a bad setup can do for you. There's actually a guy on YouTube who does more or less the same thing. He comes in and he approaches the ball from the side. He, he, doesn't, he doesn't stand behind the ball and look down the hole at all. He comes in from the side, this guy on YouTube. And he takes a practice swing. He, he grips the club with his feet together. And then he puts his left foot out. And he takes his practice swing across the line. Then he gets into the ball. And he's still across the line. And then he's still got this over the top. Now if he actually hits a decent one, then he hits a big block out to the right. But with his over the top, because he's aiming so far right, then he hits the slice. And sometimes he'll square the club face and hit a pull. So pre-shot routine is essential. Now I'll show you something else that I used to do years ago. And I'm not going to turn you around, but imagine that the golf hole is behind you. I used to take my practice swing sideways on, looking down the golf hole at my target, just to fix it in here. A bit like two boxers squaring up for a bout where they go nose to nose. So essentially what I was doing was taking my practice swing, looking down the golf hole. Now I'm not suggesting you copy my pre-shot routine, but you need something that's going to get you pointing at the target as often as possible. And I promise you, your scores will drop. Because if you've got an ugly setup, you need an ugly swing to get the ball back on target. Cheerio. Well, just before I go, if you're new to this channel, you won't have seen this. This is our 18th. And because it's going steeply downhill and the camera's a bit low down, you don't ever get to see what I can see playing down the hole. So uh, come on, let's go have a look. You coming? Okay, I'll come and get you. So we got a par four. Steeply downhill and off to the right. If you want to take driver, then you're going over those trees, you're going over the out of the bounds. It's a little bit dangerous, but I have driven this green and made an eagle too. So most of the time we aim more over here and hit the fade with the driver. But now the ground is rock hard, then you're running out of space and you're going into the trees and even under the tree by the second green. And there's not much of a shot there. So today, I think we'll just take a five iron. 